Netflix and Marvel came out with their partnership last year with the first season of Daredevil. Now, this show came out and blew us all away. And it let us know that, hey, they have plans for more shows. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. And judging off of how well you did on this one, expecting it to be great. I mean, the way they intertwined some of these, you know, they brought him into Hell's Kitchen. They put him into the Marvel Universe, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's there. They, they make references. But it doesn't make him that he – you're not surprised that you don't see other Avengers jumping around. And it really – they did a very good job of bringing it down to a street-level superhero thing. Uh, you're not fighting these big alien invading forces, but you are fighting some pretty serious dudes. And Daredevil Season 1 went off spectacularly. Everything was great about it, from the costumes to the actors to how they introduced different characters. You had a good amount of comedy. Not, okay, not a good amount, but you had a fair amount of comedy, a good relationship between Foggy and Matt Murdock. But then you really got the serious grittiness, very much similar to the Frank Miller's Man Without Fear, Daredevil. And now we have season two coming up. And just, oh man, about a week and a half. It comes out on March 18th. It's going to be all 10 episodes streaming first day on Netflix and I'm excited. So I wanted to give people a little bit of information, get you caught up and let you know what to expect for season two. So season one started out, of course, we all know foggy and Matt open up a, a law firm and they get a case. They're doing a pro bono and something's a little bit off about the guy that they're defending. Not quite right. So Matt using his, I'm uh, going to be a superhero since uh, decides he's going to start investigating. And over the co course of the show kind of discovers the kingpin, how he's developing these, this like drug ring and bringing together all the hardcore gangs of New York city. Hell's kitchen. He's bringing his mob through. He's bringing the Russians, the, the Chinese and, and different people and kind of unifying all the gangsters of New York together to kind of take over the city. He's um, becoming a, kingpin you might say ah, kingpin ah, yeah and uh and this is the show is pretty much matt murdoch going through trying to dismantle this organization pretty basic story it's you know it makes sense there's a lot of really cool things that happen they do show you some easter eggs like uh the stick shows up he was the guy who trained daredevil in in the man without fear frank miller's version and Great they kind of allude right to there. different stick. things the stick yeah the stick, stick. Yeah, it's kind of a weird name. Well, I guess that's uh, why he's not the main guy. So. But they did a really good job, I think, of progressing a story and also showing you how this, you know, giving you his roots without saying, okay, we're going to give you the first two episodes are just going to be total just, you know, story origins. And then here you go. No, they did a very good job of giving you the history of Daredevil, but still moving the central story along. And so in season two, we've already heard a couple things are going to be changing. Number one, we will have The Punisher showing up, and that will be played by John Berthall. He's a great actor. You might know him from, I believe he was in the Captain America movie. Uh, no, no, that wasn't him. That was somebody else. But he was in like Walking Dead and different things. He's been in a lot of things. He's, he's a very, very good actor. Uh, we're also hearing that we're going to have Elektra show up, and she'll be with The Hand, her ninja clan. And there's... Uh, rumors out there that the stick will show back up with his group of fighters and that's the chest i believe and so we have a lot of interesting things coming uh i'm most excited about seeing that dynamic between punisher and daredevil that'll be the coolest thing to me yeah lecture is going to be cool that's kind of like a love interest for him but like a bad guy love interest which are always interesting i mean like think batman and catwoman type of relationship not like the Electra movie like you saw with Jennifer Gardner. Yeah, did, they're not going for that. Did someone actually see that movie? No, no, nobody saw that. I actually didn't see it. I just I just know. I just know. Brian, is, do you have that poster on your wall, Brian? I do have the poster. Stop looking! But, <laughs> so, but I, I'm just really excited to see the way these characters are going to come about. I imagine we're going to see the hand come in and start doing some bad things to the city and the Punisher show up and say, okay, now I'm going to kill you guys for that. And uh, Daredevil kind of being stuck in the middle of these two, not condoning violence like Punisher likes to dole out, but yet not liking the criminal aspect of the hand. So it's going to be very, very interesting, especially if the stick does get mixed into this because he's all about killing bad guys too. So I'm, I'm thinking the level of action is going to be ramped up almost double this season from last season. Now, 
there's plenty of action and amazing amazing choreography fight choreography and stuff like that going on in the first season so if they're just going to ramp it up i mean we're in for a ride folks this is just going to be amazing and it's really going to give us a, a lot of good you know good uh, what do they call it the rogues gallery of daredevil will be coming to town and this is going to be really yeah. cool now this is also might set up a, Dare, a punisher show that's still kind of rumor phase but it, it's going to be a good good the season more... and I know what everyone's really thinking, though. The more hopeful setup this is all really leading to ultimately is either in a season three or in a movie or something, a Daredevil Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover. That would be pretty they're, cool. They're all in New York City. One's working, fighting the hand, the other's fighting the foot. You know what? <laughs> and then the foot and the hand come together, and the guy called the head starts leading them. I like the way this is going, Brendan. And then I they like have the table because the they all had to defend New York City. Right, and you could yeah. still just say it was a freak like chemical accident that made the turtles, and here we go. So, yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm start. I'm thinking we start up a those petition. TMNT movies and other stuff. Lately, we should so. we should go to WhiteHouse.gov and put that petition up there and make Obama say you something about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, that'd be a cool team up. Yeah, well, well, you should do that. <laughs> that I actually I really like that. An idea. executive yeah. order. To make an executive order, happen. you must make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle <laughs> and Daredevil crossover, or Netflix. else, you, or else Hollywood or is gone. <laughs> you know what? It could be a movie, yeah, but I'd really love a TV show, especially a Netflix show. That'd be amazing. Can you think about that? That would be the best crossover ever. But yeah, yeah. And I would say, like you know, there's there'd be a lot of characters flying around, but they already did a bunch of eight character, eight main character shows, so. Yeah, maybe that's the real mm-hmm. thing Netflix was experimenting with 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 Sense Eight and some of the other shows recently. So there you they're, go. they're just getting ready for this this, this crossover. Mm-hmm. It has to happen now. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. And since Marvel is owned by Disney and Disney has some of that stuff, what if? I mean, this, this what if? What if? This is just a what if. Chewy just landed in New York and joined forces to complete the the four. Well, they already had four people lined up for Daredevil's side, didn't they? Who? No, Chewie can be... Chewie is going to be the the Master Splinter of... Master Splinter. There you go. Okay, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Forget the stick. So, Chewbacca. It's a Chewbacca. <laughs> there you go. We have to incorporate him some way in there, you know, some way, shape, or form. But yeah, back to the topic. Daredevil Season 2 coming out on Netflix. Look out for it. It is going to be absolutely epic. Uh, I can't talk enough good things about daredevil season one season two should just keep us going and keep us going for luke cage to come out i want to say sometime next fall and then iron fist there's already rumors that iron fist is going to be introduced in the luke cage series which is pretty darn cool because there's been rumors out there that they're just going to scrap the iron fist tv show and maybe make it a movie and maybe replace that with punisher there whatever happens around it, that that was kind of stupid controversy but I don't think it's going to make them back off of it. So Yeah, and just whatever is coming is going to be really, really cool. So we're in the golden age of superheroes. Maybe not the golden age of comics, but the golden age of superheroes. We're getting more media with these superheroes and these stories and everything than I, I want to say has ever been done. Part of that is because more media is being made now than has ever been done. It's just easier to do than they used to be able to do. So, but that's that is what it is. But what are you looking forward to most in season two of Daredevil? Is it Electra showing up? Is it Punisher? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words for My Face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good ways to get. Old.